Good morning, students. Uh, students, I you know our doing uh, measures of length, mass, and capacity. So today our topic is measures of mass. Now we'll discuss how we can convert the units of mass. So we'll uh, discuss few questions of exercise forty-seven. So first question of exercise forty-seven is. Convert into grams. First question of exercise forty-five. Convert into grams. So part A is four kg. Four kg. So as I, you know, in one kg, in one kilogram, we have one thousand grams. So to convert four kg into grams, we will multiply four. Uh, we will multiply four by one thousand. So in four kg, we have four multiply by one. Thousand is equal to four thousand. So students, in four kg we have four thousand grams. Four thousand grams. Next is part B. Twenty-three kg. Same. Twenty-three multiplied by one thousand is equal to twenty-three thousand. So in twenty-three kg, you have twenty-three thousand grams. Twenty-three thousand grams. Dear students, uh, students, in uh, first question we have four parts A, B, C, and D. Uh, part A and B will discuss. Now we'll complete uh, part C and D after this lecture. Dear students, now I'm starting second question. Now, second question is convert into grams. Convert into grams. Now have eight uh, eight kg and one hundred twenty five grams. Eight kg and One hundred twenty-five grams. So, students, first we'll convert eight kg into grams. Then add one hundred twenty-five grams as it is. Yes, students. So, in eight kg, one hundred twenty-five grams. We have eight multiply by one thousand plus one hundred twenty-five. Now, students, eight multiply by thousand, eight thousand plus one hundred twenty-five is equal to eight thousand one hundred twenty-five. Clear, students? So our answer is eight kg one hundred twenty-five grams. Is part A. Yes, friends. Next is B part. Twelve kg and thirty grams. Twelve. 
12 kg and 30 grams. So 12 multiply by 1000 plus 30. Twelve multiplied by one thousand is twelve thousand. Now plus thirty is equal to twelve thousand and thirty. So our answer is twelve thousand and thirty grams. Part A and B. Next is C part. Part C is 20 kg. And five grams. Twenty k twenty. First convert twenty kg into grams. Twenty into one thousand plus five. Twenty into one thousand is twenty thousand plus five. 20,005 So our answer is grams. Next is D part 65 kg and 250 grams. 65 kg and 250 grams. 65 multiply by 1000 plus 250. Now students, 65 multiply by 1000, 65,000 plus 250 is equal to 65,000 250 grams. Questions? Now, it's the last part of our second question. Now, third question. Third question is convert into milligrams. Convert into milligrams. First part is seven gram. Yes, friends, now we're converting gram into milligrams in one gram have 1000 milligrams so simple we we'll multiply 7 by 1000 to convert gram into milligrams 7 into 1000 is equal to 7000 so our answer is in 7 grams we have 7000 milligrams. Next is Part B, 63 grams. 
So simple 63 into 1000 is equal to 63,000. So our answer is in 63 grams, we have 63,000 milligrams. Next is, uh, yes, students, in third uh, question, we have four parts, A, B, C, and D. Students, part C and D, you will complete after this lecture. Now we are discussing only part A and part B. So complete part C and D. Clear students? Next is fourth question of exercise 47. Part A. Convert into milligrams. Once again, convert into milligrams. Part A is 5 gram and 260 milligrams. 5 gram and 260 milligrams. Yes, friends. Now, first we will convert 5 grams into milligrams, then add 260 milligram as it is. Because 260, these are already, in, already milligrams. So, 5 in gram, 1 gram, 1000 milligram, 5 multiplied by 1000 plus 260. 5000 plus 260 is equal to 5260 milligrams. So our answer is in 5 grams and 260 milligrams, we have 5000 260 milligrams. Next is part B. Part B. 14 gram and 15 milligram. 14 grams and 15 milligrams. 14 multiply by 1000 plus 15. 14 multiplied by 1000, 14,000 plus 15 is equal to 14,015 milligrams. So the answer is 14,015 milligrams. Next is part C. Part C is 125 grams. 125 grams and 8 milligrams. Now students convert into milligrams. So, 125 multiply by 1000, then plus 8. Now, 125,000 plus 8. Now, add 8 
is equal to one lakh twenty five thousand eight milligrams. Now our answer is one lakh twenty five thousand and eight milligrams. Yes, students. Next is part D. One gram and one milligram. One multiply by one thousand plus one. One thousand plus one is equal to one thousand one. Next is part P e and F. Yes, friends. After this lecture, we will come. You will complete part E and F on your fair notebooks. Part E and F you will complete after this lecture. Now, next is fifth question. Now, in fifth question, convert into grams. Convert into grams. Part is three kg, three kilogram, three hectogram. Three decagram and three grams. Now convert into grams. Three kilogram, three hectogram, three decagram and three grams. Yes, friends. In one kg have one thousand grams. So in first step we will multiply three by one thousand. Then add. Now, friends. Now we have three hectogram. In one hectogram, we have hundred grams. So three multiply by hundred. Then three dec decagram. Now one in one decagram we have ten grams. So three multiply by ten. Now add three grams as it is. First, we'll multiply by one thousand kilogram hectogram multiply by hundred decagram multiply by ten. Then add three as it is. Next is next is. Three multiply by one thousand is three thousand plus three multiply by hundred three hundred three multiply by ten thirty plus three. Yes, friends. Now add on the other side three thousand three hundred. Thirty and three. That is three, 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 three. Three thousand three hundred thirty-three grams. So our answer is three thousand three hundred thirty-three grams. Yes, friends. Next is part B. Part B is five kg, four hectogram, two decagram, and three grams. Same students five 
multiply by 1000 plus 4 multiply by 100 plus 2 multiply by 10 plus 3 that is 5000 plus 4 into 100 400 2 into 10 20 plus 3 is equal to 5,423 grams. Next is C part one kilogram, one hectogram, one decagram, and one gram. one multiply by thousand plus one multiply by hundred plus. 1 multiply by 10 plus 1 that is 1 into 100 uh, 1 to 1000 1000 1 multiply by 100 100 1 multiply by 10 10 plus 1 that is 1111 grams yes friends next is Last part, part D, 20 kilogram, 5 hectogram, 8 decagram, and 6 grams. 20 kilogram, 20 multiplied by 1000 plus 5 multiplied by 100 plus 8 multiplied by 10 plus 6 20 into 1000 20000 5 into 100 500 8 into 10 80 plus 6 now add 5 8 6 20000 586 grams Yes, students. Now, this is the last question of exercise 47. Now, we'll discuss exercise 48. Exercise 48. Now, your first question is, Convert each of the following in 2 kilograms. One has been done for you. Uh, students, in first question, we have four parts A, B, C and D. First part is solved. Now complete part B, C and D. So first question part A is 2000 grams is equal to. 2000 divide by 1000 kg now 2000 divide by 1000 is equal to 2 kilogram first is complete now part complete part b c and d Part B is 9,000 grams. So first we'll write 9,000 divide by 1,000 is equal to 9 
kg. Same complete part C and D. Part C and D. Complete part C and D of question first. Next is second question. Second question is convert into kilograms and grams. Convert into kilograms and grams. Part A is 7300 grams. Now students, now we are converting grams into kilograms. We are converting smaller unit to higher unit. So we will divide by 1000 because in one kilogram we have 1000 grams. So 7300 divide by 1000. Now in rough side divide 7300 divide by 1000. So first 7 and the remainder is 300. So our answer is 7 kilogram and 300 grams. Answer is 7 kilogram and 300 grams. Now students, today your homework is complete exercise 47 and uh, first and second question of exercise 48. Clear students? Complete exercise 47 and first and second question of exercise 48. Thank you. Have a nice day.